Welcome back to Wittenberg Academy's elementary Latin course. We are in minimus and we're ready for the second half of lesson four. It begins on page 24, but first let's open up to page 26 to take a look at our new vocabulary. On the bottom of page 26, words to remember, dormio, go ahead and repeat these, dormio, I sleep, lacrimo, lacrimo, I cry, laboro, Laboro, I work. Scribo, scribo, I write. Lego, lego, I read. Sedeo, sedeo, I sit. Rideo, rideo, I smile. And cor, that's one we had last time, cor means why. All right, back on page 24. Rufus, don't touch. Rufus is too young for lessons, so he has been playing a game outside the room. He, here is a gaming board and counters. Okay, panel one. Rufus is playing in the study. Fabrissa comes along. Rufa, noli tangere. Rufa, noli tangere. Ah, uh, look what then he does in panel three. And on panel four, Vibris, uh, uh, Wibrissa jumps up on the mensa on the table. The ink goes flying. Flavia is covered in ink. She tries to clean it off. Corinthus tells her to put the mirror down and listen, and yet she keeps looking. Corinthus decides to abandon the writing lesson and tells the children the story of someone who loved to look at his own reflection. This is a famous Greek uh, fable of Echo and Narcissus. A beautiful girl called Echo once offended the goddess Juno. Juno punished Echo by making her repeat what other people said. She no longer had any words of her own. Echo fell in love with Narcissus. He was very handsome, but vain and cruel. Echo followed him everywhere, repeating his words, but he wouldn't even look at her. She faded away with sorrow until only her voice was left. Narcissus, that's how we usually say it in English, Narcissus. Uh, in Greek and in Latin, he would be Narcissus, Narcissus made many other lovers unhappy, and so the gods decided to punish him too. One day, Narcissus saw his own reflection in a pool and fell in love with it at once. He realized that he could never love anyone else so much and stayed there gazing into the water until he starved to death. In the place where he lay, the gods made a lovely flower grow, the Narcissus. You can often find this flower growing beside a lake or pool, nodding forever at its own reflection in the water. I don't know if those grow in America. Some of you, you'll have to look that up yourself. They grow in uh, Europe. Page 26. Can you think of any English words that come from the word dormio? I sleep. Dormio. Hmm. How about a dormitory, a place where everybody sleeps? Would you be pleased if your teacher were in an irate mood? What word does irate come from in, uh, in Latin? From Eratus, angry. Uh, now, what does Minimus tell us? He says, you have now met six different endings for a Latin verb. The endings change to show who is doing the action of a verb. This is how we write them out. I'd like you to make um, a note card with this, uh, with these set of endings on them. So, laboro, laboras, laborat, laboramus, Laboratis, laborant. Okay? So I work, you work, he works, we work, you work, they work. All right? And I'd like you to make two note cards, actually. One where you write out the whole word, laboro, laboras, laborat, laboramus, laboratis, laborant. And then I'd like you to make another card with just the endings, o, os, at, Amis, Atis, Ant. And those are worth um, remembering. And you'll have a quiz sometime where I'll ask you to reproduce this whole chart. So you need to memorize this chart. The order it comes in, in these two columns, you need to be able to reproduce it. Okay? And then also add these words to your uh, note cards and study those. And so now you've got both vocabulary words that you can be quizzed on, 
as well as this chart, labora, laboras, laborat, laboramus, laboratus, laborant. All right. So study those two things hard. We'll uh, uh, take this week to kind of get chapter four uh, down, and then we'll want to have a quiz over chapters one through four, both vocabulary and these forms here. All right, that does it for today's lesson.